G'day guys, Steve Fitzpatrick here from Your Building Broker with another building tip or building discussion. I often get this uh, question asked of me all the time and people say, why is it some builders seem to be so cheap? That's a good question. You know, a lot of builders have promotional homes that they put in the newspapers and it looks like it's such a low price. Or on occasions you walk through a display village and it seems to be houses that are all fairly equivalent, but one is just much cheaper than the others. And you ask yourself, well, why is that one so much more cheaper than this? And sometimes there's a legitimate reason in that the builders do what's called a loss leader. So they might put a lower margin on a promotional home, or they might have a lower margin on that particular display home. Perhaps right when it opens, just for a period of a couple of months just to build up some interest with the home, get some sales on the board. And that's where they, they give a legitimate discount on the home. And there's no problems with doing that. That's all fair and honest and, and all good for them. But what we're starting to see right now is we're starting to see some builders play a different sort of game. And this is a game that, quite frankly, it upsets me and I don't like it. And it upsets a lot of people who are going through the building process with them. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that to give you a better understanding of why this happens, what happens, and what you can do about it um, to avoid this happening to you. So I'll give you an example. Uh, one of the builders uh, I've just found out recently is adding a standard rock breaking fee to every single job. So you might walk up to a house and you think, yep, we like this house. We'd like to build it, it looks like it's a good price, but of course the site costs aren't included. Now the builder, in this particular case, is adding a fixed $1,000 fee for rock breaking. Um, now, in some cases you might need rock breaking and what builders would do is they'd put that amount as a provisional sum. So that if you didn't need it, you get the $1,000 back, but if you did need it, it would be there to cover you for that particular um, activity. However, this builder's decided they're going to just put rock breaking on every single job as a fixed fee of $1,000 and it doesn't get refunded if it's not used. So immediately they're underselling their standard house and they're just inflating other additional costs which you don't know about. So when you're trying to do the assessment of how does that house compare to this house by this other builder? You're thinking it's a great price and then you're going to get slugged. Now, if it's a thousand dollars, I wouldn't worry about it so much, but it's not just a thousand dollars as you'll start to see. A lot of the builders now are also allowing concrete pumps in all of their prices. So you might deal with some of the more reputable builders around town and they will quote you a house price that includes a concrete pump in the price because they know pretty much that's their policy these days and they want their granite workers to save their backs, have more longevity in the workplace and actually be able to continue on in their careers and professions. So they allow for that price in the house price. Again, if you're going to compare them against another builder who doesn't allow this, um, you can get caught out. So as an example, uh, one of my friends who built recently uh, with a very cheap builder, had signed the building contract, had got finance approval, the banks had released the deposit to the uh, builder um, for, the, uh, for the home. Then when they started to actually go through and do, do all the pre-start selections, and now she went in to actually sign off so they could actually get started on site, the builder turned around to them and said, we need a concrete pump on your job. It's $1,650. And she sat there and said, well, hang on, you knew about this before. Why didn't you charge me before so I could put it in my bank loan? Well, the answer is they didn't want to because all of these costs were going to start to push them up higher than their competitors. So they left it to the last minute. So she had to come up with $1,650 cash immediately to get started with the build. Yeah. A little disgusting if, if uh, I may say so. Um, Another example recently, another builder uh, was recently going through pre-start with one of their clients and their client said to them, I want 
flush mortar joints on my brickwork instead of raked mortar joints. So what did the builder do? They said no problem. For $1,600, you can make that change, no worries. Now, that's rubbish, uh, quite frankly. All jobs start with flush joints and then the, build, uh, the bricklayer has to actually go out and rake the mortar back to get a rake mortar joint on the brickwork. So if anything, it should have been no charge normally um, or perhaps a small credit, but definitely not a charge to do less work. It's ridiculous, but they're just hiking on these additional costs. Another example, um, and this will be the last one that I share with you, but stormwater drainage. Now, pretty much every council in Perth requires stormwater, stormwater drainage to be part of the building contract these days. So we always specify it. But if you go directly to a builder, there's a good chance that they may leave that out. They might quote you a price of the house, they may even give you the site works cost. And like one person recently found out that we spoke to, they got charged $6,000 for their stormwater. And it was mandatory because it came back as a council condition so that they had to do it. And the builder just imposed that $6,000 cost onto them. Now $6,000 is too high for starters because the average price that's getting paid these days is around anywhere between $3,500 to $4,500 on all of our jobs. But this builder, knowing that they had the upper hand, decides to charge $6,000. So all of these additional costs could get lumped on without you having any real understanding as to why and how and all this, all this kind of stuff happens. Unfortunately, it shouldn't happen. It's dishonest, unethical, choose your word. I don't like it, but that's what happens. So in answer to the question of why are builders, some builders are so much cheaper than the others, generally it's because of this. They know that they're going to make extra money through the process and they're going to slug you with price increases that really should have been included in the house price in the first place. So one of the beauties of using your building broker uh, to build your home is that first of all we know what is required on every job so we specify that and all of our builders when they go in the pricing uh, and they go through the tender process they all have to make these allowances and they show us those figures and so that way when we do a comparison for you we know exactly where the prices stand and we make sure that you're not going to get slugged in the end. I hope that's been a good tip uh, for you and I hope that's helped you and saved you a few headaches. I'm Steve Fitzpatrick from York Building Broker. Stay tuned for our next tip.